Hello, welcome to Universe Mode Episode 283, Week 80. This is Monday Night Roll. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, the Man Beast, Rhino. Oh yeah, something's up nice with Rhino. This is Chip Guy. This should be an interesting contest between these two men. And I'm quite looking forward to it. Quite a bit rather kind of looking forward to it. Um, so that being said, I wonder what will happen when these two square off, I think. We're looking at one potential Helluva match. Jared, of course, defeating E. Langston two days ago on Velocity to get to this match. So, there we go. And that being said, Jeff Jarrett making his way down to the ring. As we get closer to SummerSlam, who knows, maybe Jeff Jarrett could be looking at a shot in United States Championship. But then again, we got Roman Reigns, who of course returned last week, and he is in action later on tonight in tag team action. And we have one huge show for you here tonight. It is quite a hectic one. And we're going to be starting it off with, and starting it off with this contest. It's going to be an interesting one, and it will get more out of hand as the night goes on. Oh god, right off into a spine buster by Rhino. Just <laughs> starting things off fast. Um, what I was going to announce was the match card. We have Goldberg going one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio. I mean, Rey Mysterio was the one who asked for this match. So he is going to get it. And, yeah, that might have been a mistake on Rey Mysterio's behalf. Then we have a tag team match. And this is one that I'm looking very forward to as Rhino stares at Jeff Jarrett in the corner. We are going to have Triple H and Roman Reigns team up to take on the Wyatt family. That will be one huge match. And maybe Roman Reigns can get his hands on Luke Harper. Then we're going to watch the WWE Champion Mark Henry in action. He's decided to go a little bit further up the card. But he's not asking for the main event. And he is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the man who failed to defeat Luke Harper at Vengeance in Kane. And then our main event. This is a huge one. After the after what Finn Balor spoke of last week when he talked about how he would like to contend for the WWE Championship, Mark Henry told him that he had big balls to try and step up to the world's strongest man. So big, in fact, that he is actually going to try and reward him with an opportunity at the WWE Championship. But to do that, he has to beat a gauntlet match involving himself and three other former world champion, former WWE champions. So, <clears throat> luck might not be on his side here tonight for Balor, but if he wins, he's going to SummerSlam. Speaking of winning, I think Jeff Jarrett just easily defeated Rhino. There was the king of the mountain, and that was one, two, and three. Jeff Jarrett, your winner here tonight. In very quick fashion. That was fast. Alright. Jeff Jarrett with a win there. And we only just, I didn't even finish announcing the match card. I only, wow. Technical. But Jeff Jarrett with another dominant win. Who knows, we might not be looking at a one-on-one -on -one heading into SummerSlam. We shall see about that. Anyway, it is time for our next contest. And I'm looking forward to it. As we watch Rey Mysterio take on Goldberg. Mysterio challenged Goldberg to this match after he lost to Big Show two weeks ago. Um, the only problem being that Big Show actually has power and could you know defeat Goldberg. Rey Mysterio, however, is Rey Mysterio. But enough about that. Let's head into it. It's our match. And it's, uh, it's up next. Oh shit, Rey Mysterio! Oops. I'm now talking about Power Page Itsy Bitsy Witsy Spider. Itsy Bitsy Spider. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From San Diego, California. Weighing 175 pounds. One half of the world tag team champions. Anyway, Rey Mysterio making his way to the ring last week. Rey Mysterio and Big Show defeated um, the team of Triple H and Daniel Bryan for the World Tag Team Championship in an open challenge off of a tackle. 
a hug by Rey Mysterio, pretty much. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was stupid. So stupid. Also, what was stupid was Rey Mysterio deciding this would be a good opponent. Rey Mysterio has just dug his own grave. Good job. And approaching the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 295 pounds, Goldberg! Alright, Goldberg. Two weeks ago, lost two. Ah, uh, well, big show, as I said. And now we're going to bounce back from that. He can beat his tag team partner. And maybe this means good things. Of course, we know Goldberg and Scott Steiner, are, well, they showed themselves off to be a team a few weeks back. And with they've been making incredible developments. But due to a few um, problems, as of late, I don't know, just me being stupid, um, they have been unable to continue on their tag team, their potential tag team dominance. But here tonight, we're going to see what happens when Goldberg goes up against one half of the tag team champions. This will be an interesting one. Alright, as this match gets underway, Big Show is not in this match, so I don't know why I called his name. <laughs> that was stupid. Goldberg off that bat with two huge shoulder tackles. And, oh, ho, 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 clubbing blow to the back. Goldberg sends Ray in the corner and shoulder tackles him down again. Went for a punch of all things. Ray Mysterio looking to fly. Falls on his ass. That looked like he fell through the ring. This is going to be difficult. This is going to be really difficult for Ray, actually. Try and fight back from Goldberg's relentless onslaught. Oh god, he's he's already up. He's already up in the air. Oh god, I think Mark Henry will have a thing to say about that. Oh, he's going to shoot Mark Henry. My goodness. Oh. Goldberg may have just super kicked Ray Mysterio's face off. And now Goldberg with complete dominance. There's a slam. Yeah, this is why they may be called the world's largest underdogs. Goldberg up in the air. And Spinebusters him down. Yeah. Yeah, this didn't take long. Goldberg's got him hooked in. Rey Mysterio in undoubtable trouble as a sign pops up for a split second. Jackhammer. One. Two, three. Goldberg just destroyed Rey Mysterio in a few seconds. Well, that was easy. Here is your winner, Goldberg. Goldberg with a dominant and quick win. They are over. Ah, but they both over people's things. I can think of both things here. Over Rey Mysterio. So, good job. Anyway, Goldberg celebrates his win there, and that means good things potentially for the team of Steiner and Goldberg. And we'll see as time advances on. But right now, it's time for tag team action. We are going to watch the United States champion, Luke Harper, and his tag team partner, of course, his other member of the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt, take on the team of Triple H and Roman Reigns. This is going to be a big match, and it's up next. This theme's quiet. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one ball. On the way to the ring, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 244 pounds, Triple H. Triple H making his way to the ring. As I've called Triple H, <coughs> and I will call him for a while. In my eyes, one of, if not the greatest superstar in this universe to not hold a title. Triple H has come, has had opportunities in the past. He's come so close in the past, but he just can't put it in the bag. And maybe by the end of this year, we can see Triple H as a champion. That will be great to see. Who knows? Maybe he could be the one to take off, to, uh, to take out the Hall of Pain. I don't know, but right now he's tag teaming with the former United States champion of Roman Reigns. This is a very, very interesting match we've got going on between these four men. 
Roman Reigns, of course, returned last week, took on Bray Wyatt and successfully defeated him. And now tonight, he might get his hands on Luke Harper. And his tag team partner from Florida, Ronin Reigns. Roman Reigns stating how good it felt to return last week to his fans, the ones who love him. And he does not want to disappoint his fans anytime soon. He says by SummerSlam, by the end of SummerSlam, there will be a new United States Champion. His name will once again be Roman Reigns. And this time, there will be no injuries, nothing preventing him from unleashing the Roman era upon Monday Night Raw and freeing the United States Championships from the Devil's Grasps. Out of the ring. The sinister Wyatt family. You just feel an, a weird aroma in the air when they come down to the ring. They've certainly got it about them. And this is going to be very good here. This is going to be a very good tag team match between the two teams, I meant. There you go. Very, very good tag team match between the two teams. Who will come out on top? Triple H is off to start this one off against Bray Wyatt and right out of the bat, punching him right in the face. And now, go behind with a back suplex. Whatever that was, just passed my house. Oh, off the ropes. Lovely knee to the skull. Goes behind and chops the leg away from Wyatt. This is a quick start by Triple H. He's making sure that everything goes well. In the corner now. Close lines down Bray Wyatt. Roman Reigns watching on. Triple H picks up Bray. And he's going to bring him into the corner. Here we go. We're looking at a tag into Roman Reigns. No. Bray Wyatt stops it. Close lines down Triple H. And he's tagging in Luke Harper. Yes, it's champion in the ring right now. Triple H with a clothesline. And he's keeping him right now away from Roman Reigns. Drops the knee there. So the oh, like okay, went say, for a high knee, but Luke Harper falling to the floor in time. Oh, went for a high knee. Caught into a lovely tilt wheel backbreaker by Harper. This is going to be interesting between these two behemoths. Oh, Roman Reigns, you can see that impatient trying to grab Luke Harper. And here we go now. In the corner. Tag made into Roman. Roman Reigns, now the legal man. Boot to the face. Reigns is in the ring. He's going to get his hands on the United States Champion. And right away, trying to unload some fists. STO by Reigns. Stop does not connect. Leaping clothesline connects to the back. It was like Luke Harper was trying to tag in Bray Wyatt. He wants no piece of Roman Reigns tonight, but he has no choice. Look at these strikes unloading onto onto uh, Harper. Roman Reigns has waited over a month for this. He's not going to let it go to waste anytime soon. Roman Reigns has him up, has him dazed. Superman clotheslines him down. Yep, that's still a thing. Roman Reigns with the powers of the Uwas. Punches down. Here we go. Spear to Harper. Spear to Harper. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's stuck now. Roman Reigns is in confused mode. And Harper's back up to his feet. Okay. We're all fine. Back to square one. Tag made. No. And now Harper. Getting revenge of his own. You saw him right off the back try and target the ribs. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I know what move this is going to be. And it's Roman Reigns. So he'll no sell it. Uppercut by Reigns, side headlock by Wyatt, Reigns fighting out. These two had one hell of a match last week, it was very Roman Reigns though in that match, he was in control for so much of it. Tag made now into Triple H, what are they going to go for here? Simple punch to the gut by Triple H, and Wyatt once again in trouble. Back, uh, Triple H, uh, about, uh, I'm all over the place. Triple H feeling... The power. He's not feeling sour. He's clapped his hands and he feels the power. Whoa, no. Reversed elbow to the face there. Oh, he catches the boot. Chops him down. Triple H. Huge clothesline down. On to Bray Wyatt. 
Uh oh, brings him in. Power bomb. No, Bray Wyatt in trouble. Huge pile driver. And now Triple H with a spine buster. And he wants Roman Reigns to be the one to finish it. Reigns waiting in the corner, not using the powers of the Oohs this time. Reigns, spear! What the hell was that? Huge spear to Bray. Wyatt might be done for. Harper snatches off the announce table. Roman Reigns gets the pin. Triple H and Roman Reigns are victorious over the Wyatt family here tonight. Obviously, there's no reason to kind of be surprised that Roman Reigns was a tag team match. Because, of course, Roman Reigns, not only is a former United States champion, but he held those WWE Tag Team Championships over on SmackDown for 355 days. No one has come close. No one's ever going to come close to a reign like that. Roman Reigns with the longest reign. <laughs> and looking to have another reign with the United States Championship for the, era, for the Roman era of Reigns. There you go. Roman Reigns and Triple H picking up a huge win there over the Wyatt family. When will Roman Reigns officially be announced number one contender? I don't know. I hope it's soon because he definitely deserves it as we go on the road to SummerSlam. Anyway, it's time for our next contest. The WWE Champion in action. Mark Henry gets set to go one-on-one -on -one with Kane. Kane coming out of the ring, of course, as I said, he was unable to defeat uh, Luke Harper at Vengeance to become the United States Champion. That was just thought that's the one title that Kane needs to become a Triple Crown Champion. But he could not do it at Vengeance. And here tonight, he goes one on one with Mark Henry. And there's a fun story to tell you about Mark Henry. And he makes his way out to the ring. It's kind of big news. Can Kane, though, potentially be the one to end the undefeated streak? I don't know. He certainly got the or the power about him. He's certainly got the height, the weight, the power to do it. Can Kane be the one to beat Mark Henry? Let's see. And approaching the ring from Silsby, Texas, weighing 418 pounds, the WWE undisputed champion, the world's strongest man. There's no easy way of saying this, but uh, time to be completely honest. As of the day this goes live, so Monday of course, Mark Henry will have been WWE Champion for 92 days. Which means, by this Friday on SmackDown, Mark Henry will have been WWE Champion for 96 days. Meaning that Mark Henry, unless we see Brock Lesnar or any of the other Mr. Money in the Banks cash in tonight, Mark Henry is the new longest reigning WWE Champion at the end of this week. By this, by Friday, 96 days, one day more than Matt Hardy's, and by the time the next Raw rolls around, he will be converging on 100 days as WWE Champion. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but 100 days as WWE Champion, and he hasn't missed a beat. He had one potential scare. That's all he's had in his title reign is one potential scare in a match on Raw when Daniel Bryan returned after Money in the Bank, and that was it. It's been so plain sailing for Mark Henry. He's made it look so easy for the past 92 days. And I, you know, as he gets nearer to 100, we could be looking at 100 more. Because if Finn Balor is the number one contender, at SummerSlam, if Finn Balor can last through the gauntlet that he's got coming up for him next, who knows if he can defeat Mark Henry. I mean, we don't know, but whatever happens, Mark Henry is going to leave behind an everlasting legacy with that WWE Championship. Be it if it end somehow ends at SummerSlam, I'm not trying to be offensive to Balor, but, you know, as I said last week, he's not exactly the strongest of men, or the most powerful, or the most... Uh, what's the other one? Um... I can't exactly say demonic looking, can I? Because he'll just bring out some face paint. 
you know exactly the, the uh, I don't know. He, he just he just hasn't got what Mark Henry's got. We'll say that. And you know we know that heading into SummerSlam, Mark Henry's going to be over 100 days as champion. He's going to be leave behind a huge legacy, and I think it might take some time until that title reign is going to be beaten as well. I I didn't think for a while that anyone was going to beat Matt Hardy's title reign of 95 days. I mean, if anyone, I actually thought Kevin Steen was going to be the one to do it, but Steen had three very if and iffy reigns, to say the least. But Mark Henry has had one pure demolition-styled reign. It has not... It has not had a fault in it. Not a single loss as WWE Champion in, a, in almost 100 days. Remember... That's three months. It's three months. As I'm, of course, recording this on the Sunday, it's three months to the day that Mark Henry's been WWE Champion. He's appeared on almost every Raw, and he hasn't lost a single match. I, I don't know how he does it. Mark Henry again, looking for another backbreaker. Kane wiggling his way on, delivers a backbreaker of his own. Uppercut, go behind now, side headlock converted into, and reverses it. Mark Henry shoves, his, shoves Kane's face right into the ground, front face lock. Huge headbutt to Kane there, the mask isn't going to protect him from the strong head of Mark Henry. And a tilt to world. I go hiccups, backbreaker from Henry as well. Backbreaker again. No, Kane again wriggles out. Although we do know one thing, we're going to say this, I mean, Kane can reverse as many moves as he likes, but the moment that World's Stronger Slam connects, nah, stick a fork in it, it's done. Kane is really fighting back. I was not expecting this from Kane. I was expecting Henry, even though with the power that Kane, uh, that Kane has, and I was expecting him to have a relatively tough time against Mark Henry. World's Strongest Splash. Is this it? No, Kane out. Strikes him down. Front face lock. Headbutts him down again. Oh, Bristol in the corner. Irish whip by Kane. Turns him around. Uh oh, Henry puts him in the turnbuckle and clotheslines him down. Oh my god, Mark Henry to the top rope, good job, Kane sat up at the right time actually, I don't think Mark Henry could have seen that because he wasn't looking in that direction when he flew, smart tactic by Kane as he flies to the out, as he goes down to the outside though, Kane gonna have to make his way back in the ring now, Mark Henry waiting for him, close line, Mark Henry right back up to his feet, and Mark Henry looking to wrap this one up. Easily picks up Kane. World's strongest slam. That's it. It's done. One, two, three. Mark Henry is the winner here tonight. Is uh There's only two people who's ever kicked who's well there's only one person who's ever kicked out of the Sin Cara! Yes! New WWE champion! Piss off. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure since Mark Henry's been WWE Champion, there's only one man who's kicked out of the World's Strongest Slam, and I believe that to be uh, Daniel Bryan. Anyway, um, Mark Henry wins, and now we know that he's going to become the longest reigning WWE Champion because it doesn't look like anyone's cashing in. The question is, will his opponent at SummerSlam be Finn Balor as he gets ready to run the gauntlet against three former WWE Champions up next? This is going to be a big task. Babala. Can he do it? Can he go to SummerSlam and attempt to win the Hall of Pain? We'll find out. It's our main event. It's a gauntlet match. And it's next. The following contest is a gauntlet match. Approaching the ring from Ireland. Finch Bay. Lower. Finn Balor. What a task he's walking in here tonight. And if you notice, no paint. Balor's not going to try and get, bring out the demon side 
Lala states that if he can get through this match tonight, if he can get through the biggest task in his career, then and only then will the demon be out at SummerSlam. And the demon will bring him the biggest fight of Mark Henry's career. Bala has full confidence in getting through this match. He realizes, as he just stated, it is one of the toughest, it is the toughest match of his career. But he is willing to do anything to get that shot. And first out is the only Grand Slam champion in this universe, the man who defeated, oh, sorry, who was defeated by Finn Bala last week. Ziggler will be looking for revenge for last week. After, of course, losing to um, Pimbala in rather quick fashion. Of course, Dolph Ziggler just sweeped it under the rug. Swept it under the rug, I mean. Used the, t you know, used the easy excuse. He was still recovering from Mark Henry last night. So, obviously, the show-off didn't have what it takes. He didn't have his dashing good looks. He didn't have his... He wasn't, he wasn't in the right zone to take on Finn Balor, and Finn Balor scored a lucky one against him last week. However, tonight, Ziggler coming out first. Will Ziggler be able to get revenge? Will Ziggler be able to show that last week wasn't a lucky win if he's in the so-called zone? I guess we're about to find out. Here we go, Finn Balor getting ready for this match. Exploding right out of the block with a dropkick in the corner, multiple kicks. Dolph Ziggler dodges his way out of the last one, runs straight into a spinning kick. Finn Balor needs to try and dispose of these guys as quickly as he can, but also with minimal stamina used up. Because if he use, you know, because if he goes all out extreme on Dolph Ziggler right now, what state is that going to leave him in ahead of Triple H? I don't know why I said Triple H. Last <laughs> time I checked, Triple H is the former WWE champion. That's what I get for reading shit <laughs> while I'm looking for head of his next two opponents. Can Finn Balor get rid of Dolph Ziggler in a quick enough time to move on to the other two men? Of course, even though Mark Henry said it was two former world champions, does he necessarily mean two former WWE champions or does he mean two former champions oh, altogether because all we know, oh god, interesting we brain buster there by Bala, all we know we could be Ziggler's seeing AJ clear. Styles come out, continue? of course being a former ECW champion, huge top across the chest there, Bala picking him up, looking to put this one away very soon, here goes Finn Bala, Bloody hell connecting. Bala pulling the trigger. Looking to get this one out of the way. Move on to the next man. Bloody Sunday. Hooks the leg. One, two. Ziegler's out of here. Next up. Oh, it's the big Papa Pump. It's the man Mark Henry defeated for the WWE Championship. Scott Steiner in the ring. We have not seen Steiner in actually a, a couple weeks even. And now he goes one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor. Can Finn Balor get through the man who you became WWE Champion at WrestleMania defeating Kevin Steen? Can he do it? He's got, oh, what's he doing here? Balor, go to all extents, leg dropping him into the ropes. Dashing up to the top rope. Splashes onto Steiner. This is... This is quick offense by Bala. He's got to do whatever he takes against Steiner. I don't know how that worked. Shoving Steiner off front face lock. Steiner's power gets him out. Bala rolls out of the way. Just ran straight at Steiner. That's not exactly the smart decision he'll ever make. He pulls the trigger again. He's feeling the confidence. Spinning kick to the gut. Front face lock. Kick to the gut. Off the ropes he goes. Boom. Kick in the face. Turns him over. He's dashing to the top rope to put away Steiner. Coup de gras, just like that. Finn Balor working at an extremely quick pace. Two, three. He's out. Steiner's out. And there's only one man left. It's Daniel Bryan. The first ever WWE Champion in this universe is looking to be the one to try and stop. Finn Balor here. One on one they will go. 
this is actually going to be a hugely contested match. This is one of the big matches of Monday Night Raw. This is something that people would have wanted to see for some time. And they are taking it to the outside. Finn Balor. I can't believe how quickly he was able to dispose of Scott Steiner. I guess he just got a lucky break. Or maybe Steiner did it out of respect for Balor. Knowing that he's the one who wants to win the Hall of Pain. Is that what these last two men are going to try and do? Will Daniel Bryan be of assistance to Finn Balor? Well, it doesn't matter because he might be he might not know where he is in a few moments with an aeroplane spin like that. Daniel Bryan not getting off to the best of starts. Roll up, roll up by Balor to go to SummerSlam. No, Bryan out at one. Uh oh, go behind by Bryan. Looking for a back suplex. And he gets it. Ryan looking to fly. There's a splash. Pin on Bala. Bala out at two. Oh, that was close. Bala almost not going there. Lovely Inzaguri counter by Bala. Tremendous work. Flies up to the top rope again. Double axe handles down on the skull. He's looking to try and get back into this match. Spinning kick to the gut stops him. In the corner he goes. Finn Bala. Takes him down. We have an idea of what he's going for. We've seen him do this once before. Finn Balor to the other turnbuckle. He's looking to fly. Coast to coast. Brian rolls in position. Finn Balor, coup de gras. Can Balor do it to go to SummerSlam? One, two. Finn Balor is number one contender for the W. WE Championship. He's done it. Bala is the winner. Absolutely amazing. Finn Bala is the new number one contender and at SummerSlam will take on Mark Henry for the WWE Champion. Look at the just the way Bala is able to fly through the air. Rolls into position. Bala takes it to the top rope. Coup de gras down on Daniel Bryan. Hook of the leg. One, two, three. Finn Bala, your new number one contender. Amazing work to outlast these three men. Absolutely great job by Bala. You know, Dolph Ziggler was looking to try and take out Bala. I don't know about Scott Steiner, I get the feeling like Steiner was actually helping Balor. And at the end of it was Daniel Bryan. Those two men have tremendous respect for one another. And they well, they gave it right until the end. But that is not going to stop Finn Balor. As in a few weeks time, as in I believe now three weeks time at SummerSlam. He gets set for the biggest match of his life now. To take on the WWE Champion Mark Henry. you got to know Mark Henry was watching on in the back of that match. And now, he know, and now he's well aware that Finn Balor, not only did he have the balls to step up to the challenge, not only did he have the balls to challenge Mark Henry, but he had tremendous heart, fought through the gauntlet match, and is making his way to SummerSlam to go one-on-one -on -one with the world's strongest man. So there we go, on a night where Mark Henry is now going to be confirmed as the longest reigning WWE Champion, I will of course officially announce it on SmackDown, but we know it's official. Not only does he become the longest reigning WWE Champion, but he has a new contender, and one man who is standing above the rest right now in Finn Balor. This is going to get heated as we get towards SummerSlam. This has been an amazing episode of Raw with a truly great ending. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, and ta -ra.